Welcome to Decision Making Toolset 1, using Proact to help you make decisions. Making good decisions consistently is all about how you make your decisions rather than the decision itself. When making an important decision, one that will impact some part of your life, such as your work, your family or your health, you need a decision making process that will increase the likelihood of realising a successful outcome. Proact, a decision-making process devised by John Hammond, Ralph Keeney and Howard Raffia and described in their book Smart Choices, is a simple, thorough and effective way of consistently making good decisions. This toolset describes how Proact can be used to make good decisions. Proact is an acronym. Its letters stand for Problem, which involves defining the problem that is forcing you to make a decision, Objectives, this step in the process is about understanding what you need and want as a result of making a good decision. Alternatives. Alternatives involve identifying the different options or choices from which you will have to make your decision. Consequences, which involves understanding what will happen if you select one alternative over another. Trade-offs. This final step describes how to select the alternative that best meets your wants and needs and how to deal with the complexity of having numerous objectives. This toolset consists of five lessons, with each lesson covering one step of the PROACT process. Together with the lesson's presentation, the accompanying lesson guide contains a description of the process step together with case study material to help you understand and apply what you've learned. At the end of a lesson, I recommend that you have a go at applying what you've learned to your own decision. Not only will doing this help you to remember and understand what the process step involves, it will help you with taking the next step towards making a good decision. Toolset 1 will teach you a simple, thorough and effective process for making good decisions. In the words of Smart Choices authors, the only way to really raise the odds of making a good decision is to learn to use a good decision making process. One that gets you to the best decision with minimal loss of time, energy, money and composure.